In this presentation we're going to do a quick proof and it's related to the transpose. This is a very important um, identity in relation to the transpose of a matrix or the transpose of the product of two matrices. So we have uh, the product of two matrices here. So we have a matrix here B and a matrix C and what we do here is this is relates to the multiple uh, the product of those two matrices okay and after the f that we get the transpose of it okay so we uh, multiply them out for first matrix multiplication and then we get the transpose of that resultant matrix okay you may assume that the compatible matrices or the matrices of, are of compatible size and so forth now this is the important bit here is that it does not this is what one would be inclined to think that it is, you know, something like that. That's wrong, okay? Okay, this is, you know, you can sort of be, sort of see why it might make sense to some sense. But anyway, so this is what actually happens. It's that the, this identity here, this, this product here, this transpose of this product, is the transpose of C times the transpose of B. Now the ordering there is very important, okay? The C one comes first. The, the transpose of C comes first. Okay, that's critically important. This is a very, very important identity for working with matrices. Okay, so don't get it wrong. So what I'm going to do here is actually first off introduce A, and I'm going to sort of like use these. By the way, I'm using capital letters to specify the name of the matrix. So B, capital B, capital C. But other than that, what I'm going to do is use s lowercase letters to uh, uh, be the elements of these matrices here. So I'm going to go get called the elements of A, A, B, C, D. Okay, nothing, just the small A, small B, small C, small D. They're nothing, nothing to do with the names of the matrices. And if I was to get the transpose of it, whoops, didn't mean to do that. If I was to get the transpose of it, I align the top rows, the rows of each matrix and I, I make them turn them into columns of the it, essentially that's the idea of a transpose the rows become columns the columns become rows okay just in case you're not familiar with that it's just this sort of it's the idea of what a transpose is if you've not if you don't know what a transpose is you should just uh, check on that first before you look at the rest of this video okay so that's the idea of a transpose now uh, likewise I'm going to call C and this is capital C here I'm going to call the elements W X Y Z or Z W X Y Z and the transpose of that again uh, the transpose of C is we align we sort of write the the first row as the first column and the second row as the second column and so on and so forth okay so that's the idea of a transpose Whoops. Now, so that's uh, everything we need so far. So I'm going to get into our proof. Okay. So I'm going to sort of work in work on the basis of left hand side equals right hand side. Okay. So essentially, what I'm going to do is in complete isolation, I'm going to look at the left hand side of the equation first, and then sort of see what I get. Then the right hand side see what I get and just see do I get the same conclusion for the left hand side and the right hand side okay so what I'm going to do first off is I am going to multiply B by C using the elements uh, we have introduced already so I'm just going to scroll down a bit and make a little bit of room so uh, with matrix multiplication you're interested in the rows of the first matrix and the columns of the second matrix okay so the first element of row one times the first element of column one uh, plus by and so on uh, cw plus dy uh, a times x plus b times z and c times x plus b D times Z okay that's just fundamental very straightforward matrix um, uh, multiplication uh, just in case you're wondering in case you might not be familiar what I've done there is matrix multiplication and again if you did not follow that I done a very sl uh, slow baby steps but 
it's not the point of this video. So matrix multiplication was what I've done there. And uh, if you're not familiar with that, I suggest you just check that out first before continuing. Okay. So anyway, this is our this is BC here. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is get the transpose of BC. And again, it's right. It's the top row as a column. So AW plus BY and AX plus BZ and then the second row is CW plus DY CX plus DZ okay so that is their conclusion to the left hand side okay there we go and it's this matrix here so I'm going to come back to this shortly and we'll sort of see how we get on with the other part now that I left a little uh, oops I left a little bit of room there but I don't need it so I'm just going to scroll down now to C or CT transpose of C times the transpose of B now this is just using, I, I sort of introduced these earlier on, so this is just if you sort of uh, move back to the start of the video, that's where I got them. Um, so what again um, I'm going to do, I'm interested in, is the rows of the first matrix and the columns of the second matrix. Okay, so um, W, A, or actually I'm going to just keep them in alphabetical order. Uh, although it's traditionally you sort of uh, well anyway it's the first mate element of row one and the first times the first element of column one and so on R1 for row one C1 for column two so AW is the product of this and this and the second element of row one is Y and the second element of column one is B uh, multiply them out and add them to your overall total by okay and you do that for the rest of the way through again it was sort of going through ba uh, baby steps through the matrix multiplication I'm always very conscious that some people sort of might have missed that or something like that and not great at it anyway so uh, a CW again the top row by the second column there, so the the second column here. Uh, CW, the first element of the uh, row one and column two, and the second elements are D and Y, so I multiply them out. Uh, now we're going here to um, the row two, and column one is A times X plus B times Z okay and then C times X plus D times Z okay so that's our conclusion from the right hand side okay so what I'm gonna do here is we're just gonna I'm just gonna like let you sort of make a mental, a mental note of that or write that down but then we're going to go back and check is this what we got here for the conclusion for the other part yes it is okay so left hand side equals right hand side therefore okay so that's that proof now again I'm, I'm trying to sort of squeeze this in, in into a 10 minute video so there's a couple of caveats that likes uh, you know matrix compatibility and so on and so forth, but essentially that's a general gist of how to do this sort of proofing uh, proofs for linear algebra. Okay.